Hey, Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We got a great question from our YouTube channel from a person named Jay. And they wanted to know, will mold die if you get the humidity down to 45%? So this is one of those myths that I cover in my Crawl Space uh, Repair Myth Busted book, if you haven't had a chance to check that out. But there's a lot of contractors out there that say, all I have to do, Mrs. Jones, is lower that humidity and it's going to die. We don't have to kill the mold. We don't have to remove the mold. Just lowering the humidity will kill it. Is that true? Stay tuned. So if you're a DIY or looking to do your own crawl space, I'd like for you to check out our DIY store. We've got everything just about you would need in order to kill mold in your crawl space or encapsulate. Also make sure you check out our uh, franchise opportunity and I hope you like and subscribe uh, to this channel. All right, so uh, take a look at this chart right here. This is uh, a chart that was developed by the smart people over at ASHRAE and basically ASHRAE is the American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, and Air Conditioning Engineers. And they developed this chart to kind of give people an idea of the best humidity levels inside the home, okay? So as you can see, bacteria, viruses, fungi, which we call mold, uh, you know, dust mites, respiratory infections, they all have an area that, uh, that they thrive in when it comes to humidity, all right? So there's a, there's a lot of dust mite issues out there, for example. You know, children really suffer from asthma. I had asthma as a kid, and it was horrible. And, you know, a lot of dust mite issues can be fixed by lowering humidity. Uh, it is uh, pretty well documented that if you have a high humid environment inside your house, you're gonna have a lot of dust mites, which causes a lot of allergens and things like that. And if you lower the humidity below typically uh, 50%, it will actually kill the dust mites, okay? That is not the case for mold. I have researched and spoken to microbiologists and all these people and nothing that we have seen or heard uh, from a, you know a, a respectable group or organization other than some salesperson making a claim sitting across the dining room table from you is that lowering humidity kills mold. Now there is some possible evidence that lowering humidity does make mold go dormant, but dormancy is not death, okay? Uh, so what you wanna do is you use the lower humidity to address the mold and to prevent it from returning, but the simple fact of installing a dehumidifier in your crawl space and cranking it down to 50% is not gonna kill that mold in the crawl space. It is just gonna sit there and it's going to wait and wait and wait until you get a plumbing leak, until something happens to the dehumidifier. It, and it's very patient. It, it would, it'll stay there forever, all right, until a moisture problem happens, okay? So make sure that if you're going to go through the pain and the financial investment of encapsulating your crawl space, that you get that mold addressed properly, and I would recommend you get it removed. That way when you go to sell your home later, it's a non-issue. A home inspector goes down there and they see visible signs of mold growth. They don't know whether it's dead or alive unless it's tested, and then they tell their client that there's visible signs of fungus, make sure to have it checked out, and that can just mess up the entire sale process. So if you're gonna do things, do it right, make sure you get a company out there that understands mold remediation properly, follows mold protocols, and all that. I did a, uh, a few videos and blogs about essential guides to wood rot fungus, and a lot of the, the information in that guide applies to mold as well. So I hope you'll check that out. I'm Michael Church, Crawl Space Ninja. We hope you make it a happy and blessed day, and we'll see you later.